This makes the Phoenix Suns the best team in basketball. What do you say? I say he's crazy. He's all on his own. I mean, <laughs> there's no surprise there. Big Perk, love him to death, but I think he's off his rock on this one. Obviously, Bradley Beal can ball. We all understand that. Uh, when you think about it, what is it about? 27 points, five assists over the last four seasons combined. Only about five other players have done that. Got to give him credit where credit is due. Uh, he's got the second most points behind Rudy Gay as somebody who's done what he's done but hasn't been in the conference finals. Mm -hmm. When I look at Bradley Beal, there's no question about his talent. There's a lot of people in D.C. that are critical of him because they don't feel he closes the deal, even though he has scores fourth quarter points. Numbers look right, but in key pivotal moments, they don't like what they've seen. That's them. I like his game. What I'm saying is this. Him and Devin Booker are too similar. This is not a catch-and-shoot team the way Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and those boys in Golden State were capable of being. Mm. You got guys that really, really need the ball. And so although their offense will be prolific because you got what here, it's your turn, it's your turn, it's your turn. Come playoff time, you need something more than that. And so I'm not as high on this. I'm not saying it's a bad deal. They've certainly upgraded CP3, 38 years of age. We understand that, you know what, the, we look at Booker when he's had the ball in his hands as a point. This dude was lethal in those couple of games they won against Denver. No doubt about that. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.